I love carrot cake. I think if, if there's a king of, of carrot cake lovers, that's me. And the thing that I tried to do here was to push it a little bit towards Lebanon, try and add some tahini, add some pomegranate syrup, and dead easy to make because you just put all, everything into one bowl. So first of all, grab some oranges, three good oranges. The other things to get are pomegranate syrup, tahini, hard to find tahini, and sugar. Zest of three oranges gives you a big flavour. I told you it was boring. See? Just goes on. Tahini is sesame paste and we need 75 grams of, of that. And I need 125 ml of sunflower oil. And then three good tablespoons of this stuff, which is pomegranate syrup. There you go. Put all of that into the mixer with the zest of the oranges. And we need 225 grams of sugar. Into the machine. And the reason we're doing this is to break up the soft brown sugar. The soft brown sugar has little lumps in there. And if you put it in with the eggs, sometimes you can end up with lumps, almost like little sugar stones inside the cake. So now we're gonna put the eggs in. We want one whole egg and just put two yolks in now and two whites in later. Two hundred grams of carrots, and we're going to put this massive carrot into the machine. Just breaking up the pistachios a little bit. I don't want them really finely chopped, just roughly chopped. In. So then we add the orange juice to the. Mix, we need about 100 ml of orange juice. And the easiest way to make cooking easier is just find a, a spot in the recipe where you can take a break and clean up. Wipe, wipe down everything, just get it all organized. It just makes, well, it makes my life easier. I'm, I'm sure it makes your life easier too. So in this bowl here, we've got the uh, plain flour, the baking powder, the ground cloves, the ground nutmeg, and the ground cinnamon, or you can use mixed spice if you like. And then stir all that together, and then sift it. And stir everything together. Final stage is to whisk in, whisk in the egg whites. Simply fold that, all of that, just plonk it in. And then oh, pour the mixture. And it should be just over about 400 grams for, for each one. A cake like this is better baked at a lower temperature because you get a much more even bake. You're not going to get scorched bits on top of the cake. And especially because it's a layer cake, there's always the possibility that you might dry it out. So lower temperature, longer time, is going to give you a much more tender cake in the end. So in the bowl here, I've got the cream cheese and the butter. I'm just going to beat the two together to get them fluffy, to get them smooth. And this will make it much easier when I'm trying to put the icing sugar in to the mix. then put 200 grams of icing sugar into the bowl and then just beat it together until it looks like this beautiful one. Just enough lemon juice to, um, to make it soft and easy to spread on the cake and then just slowly beat those together. Very good. Then all you need to do is assemble the cake and serve it. So to do that, put one of the layers there and then just dollop a third of this mixture on. And this is the finish to this gorgeous cake. Look at that, layers and layers.
and that's it.